Okay, so here we are. It is July 31st. This is our first tent. So as you can see, we're coming, actually coming to the end of our flowering phase. Don't have a whole lot of pollinators in here. I've got a few. You can't, probably can't see them too much up in the corners there. Uh, this is the first tent. Uh, what may have been an issue, I just noticed one of the, our irrigation lines was kinked, so there wasn't a lot of good water in here. So that might have been affecting their ability to get water and stay alive. There was a decent population in here previously. Uh, you can see we've got some uh, sort of vining weeds. I've been going in and trying to break those off near the bottom to make seed cleaning a little easier. I see there's something over there I need to pull out as well. So moving along pretty good in here. I'm not seeing any signs of aphids yet. That's my most likely uh, challenge, so I'll keep an eye out for that. I can see some of these here that they've got some... Uh, you can get a sense of what the seed set's going to look like. So pretty happy. As I move into the other tent, it's interesting that there's a lot more pollinators in this one. And this just probably has to do with... Um, and this is more the population I like to see. This probably just has more to do with getting the right pieces of meat in the right place. Uh, so maybe just more of the pieces that ended up in here were inoculated. And maybe the water is a little bit better and I'll kind of work my way down there. As you can see, it's a bit thick, uh, but to take a look. So these ones also coming to the end of their flowering phase. What I might do is actually leave this opening open a bit for the flies to sort of make their way into the other side if they want to do so. Uh, but good to see some activity in here and good to know, even though it came on a bit late, that there's good pollinator activity. I do see a few different types of flies, including what looks like some pretty nasty black flies. We didn't have those last year. And uh, more just your typical house flies, like the green and blue bottle flies, which are fairly common. I do see them sitting on a lot of the umbels, so that's a really, really good sign. So I expect actually to get better pollination in this enclosure than I have on the other one. So what I will do is keep the seed lots separate so we can determine that. And I am going to try some sort of way to capture some of these guys and uh, send them over to the other side. So once again, July 31st, things moving along pretty good. And it's similar outside, coming to the end of the flowering phase and uh, at a point which I can take these tents off to get better airflow in here and uh, hopefully reduce the risk of aphids later in the season. Mm -hmm.